96.7 WTOB. Yes, the theme this morning in our next segment is uh, taxes. We're going to talk about taxes here in uh, Forsyth County. Uh, that, of course, why we played the Beatles. Uh, although it is a great song, and you don't really have to, uh, you don't really have to talk about uh, taxes. To just play and listen to the song and everything. You know, everybody complains about taxes. There's nothing to do in this world except uh, live, die, and pay taxes in between. Uh, do you complain about taxes? I, I think I have a couple of ideas about taxes, and I know their value. Uh, I bet that we really kind of look at things and, you know, wonder just what happens with all that money that gets collected. As a result of our taxes, you have clean water, public health, our public safety men and women, first responders. We're going to talk taxes for the next 10 minutes or so because this is the start of an important season. John Burgess is the Forsyth County tax assessor and collector, and he's in the studio this morning. Good morning, Mr. Taxman. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Appreciate well, glad, it. Glad to have you in. Uh, before we get to our uh, point of discussion today, tell me a little bit about what the tax office does. Well, in general, uh, we are responsible for valuing all the property in Forsyth County for taxation purposes. And so what that really means is doing countywide reappraisals every four years. We value all the registered motor vehicles uh, each year. Uh, we also uh, accept uh, listings for personal property like your business personal property or individual personal property taxes and uh, help you fill out those forms and make sure that we're uh, appropriately taxing uh, your property. So at this particular season that we're getting ready to come in, as I mentioned earlier, uh, is this a, 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 the normal time of year in, in this season that you all do assessments and do you do it every year? Well, personal property is appraised annually uh, each year. And so January 1st is a very big date in property taxation in North Carolina. So it's a very important time. And that starts the listing period, what's called the listing period. And uh, that goes on for about a month uh, and, a, and a half in Forsyth County. Uh, and so our staff diligently works between J January accepting those listings finalizing the values for January 1st each year until we send out the bills in July. No, that's good. Uh, it, it's, it's a process and, and so you, you this is uh, something that you've been doing for a while. How long have you been uh, at the top there over at, uh, at the tax assessor's office? Uh, well, I've, I've started uh, my career a couple of years in Allegheny County actually, but in 1994 I came to Forsyth County, had the opportunity there. I've worked in several different capacities in the tax office, but uh, this June be, I will have been at uh, Forsyth County for 30 years and about 12 of those or so, uh, I've been the fortunate to be able to be the tax assessor and collector. That's great. And, and for, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, we're talking with tax assessor uh, John Burgess. He works for Forsyth County. And we're talking about programs and opportunities that people have. Uh, what are those programs and, and opportunities that uh, are available to taxpayers in our area that, that fall into your, uh, into your department? So you don't always think about opportunities with tax, right? But, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but I appreciate the question because actually we're at a time of year that there's an opportunity for uh, people to apply for tax relief programs. We're talking about taxing and here I am talking about a tax relief program, but uh, specifically there are three different tax relief programs uh, that are available and the deadline to appeal uh, to apply for those is June 1st. So there's still plenty of time to get your application in. If, I, if it's okay, I'd like to talk about those three, if that's sure. all right. Absolutely. Um, the most popular program is called the Homestead Exclusion for Senior Citizens or Disabled. And for that program, uh, you have to be a North Carolina resident owning or occupying your own home, be 65 years of age or older, and have an annual income not exceeding $36,700. And so if you meet those qualifications and if you apply on time by June 1st, uh, the benefit that you can receive is the greater of either $25,000 in value off the value of your property or up to 50% of the value of your property. So you can imagine for someone who may have a uh, $1,400 tax bill per year, that could go down to $700. So that's a significant savings uh, for someone. Um, the, the, another one that we have uh, is called the Disabled Veterans Homestead Exclusion, and for this one, there's no age restriction. 
Uh, for those that are honorably discharged having a total and permanent service-related disability, or it could be the unmarried surviving spouse of someone meeting those qualifications. The benefit here is the first $45,000 in your home valuation could, could be uh, relieved. Um, now those first two are, are exemptions, and so anything that you apply for that you receive, that, that tax amount is exempt. This last one is a little bit different, uh, and it's called the circuit breaker. Um, the qualifications for it uh, is that you have to be 65 years of age or older, and this one provides a cap on the amount of property taxes you pay as a percent of your income. So this one has a different income threshold as well. Uh, if your income does not exceed $55,000, $55, then the portion of taxes above 5% of your income is deferred. Uh, and there's a different deferral for uh, those making between $36,000 and $55,000, and that's 4%. So the key word I said there was deferred. Um, and what that means is, is that the amount of benefit that you would receive in that program stays on the books. You wouldn't have to pay it, but it stays on that difference, stays on the books for a period of three years. And in the case of a disqualifying event, we do go back per the law and we would receive the, the past three years of deferred taxes from you. But, and so some people may think, well, that's not a very uh, great uh, benefit, but, but if you're in the program for more than four years, uh, certainly you start to see how that, that certainly can help you. But it does provide a cap for you. The, the biggest thing I would say about all of this is I know these programs can sound a little bit confusing or like there's a, there's a lot of details into them. The two things I would say is this, is June 1st of 2024 is the deadline to apply for tax relief programs. So first, please know that. And second, if you're 65 years of age or older and make less than $36,700 a year, please contact us. Uh, we have very knowledgeable and patient uh, staff that'll help you uh, we'll explain the programs in detail, uh, help you with your application. Uh, you, can, you can give us a call, uh, 336 703 2300, or stop by our office at 201 North Chestnut Street. Uh, we're located on the first floor of the Forsyth County Government Center. We, we help people every day. We enjoy doing that. And so I, I guess the main thing is to be aware there are programs and to please ask us if you have other questions. John Burgess is the uh, tax assessor and collector for Forsyth County. He's with us this morning on WTOB. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with the uh, with the tax office now. Anything anything happening there that uh, folks might be interested in? Uh, well, something that happens every four years that's quite significant for our office is that um, we are working on the upcoming countywide reappraisal. The effective date for that is January first of twenty twenty five. Certainly it's a big undertaking for our office because uh, our staff appraisers um, are, you know, we have to value all 100, almost 70,000 parcels of, of property in Forsyth County. But what we do is we analyze all the sales in the current real estate market to help us understand what the real estate market is doing. And in Forsyth County, we appraise all the real estate uh, every four years. Uh, so the last time we did this was in 2021. Um, and our tax values for real estate are always guided and determined by what is going on in the real estate market. The goal really of every reappraisal is to bring the tax values of real estate parcels on our books into alignment with the current uh, real estate market. And so what that really means is, is when you get your tax notice in January of 25, the value re you receive about your real estate should mean that that's a reasonable value that you should be able to obtain in selling your property in the open market. And there's always been a difference, as I've come to understand, in what market value is and what the assessed value is. Is this mm -hmm. something that has been achieved recently or the new, new way of thinking about uh, making sure that your numbers match what the property could sell for on the open market? That, that's a very good question because uh, most of the time, tax values will not equal real, uh, the market value because we only do reappraisals in Forsyth County every four years. State law mandates that the minimum uh, is, or the maximum, excuse me, the maximum amount of years is eight years. So you could be used to looking at a tax value that really didn't change for four or six or eight years when the real estate market is changing every day. 
And so the, the only time that our real estate values are relevant to current market value is the time of the reappraisal. So that would be January 1st of 2025. After that, our values are set as of that time period. And of course the market rises, falls, and changes differently for different top, types of property. So it makes our value less uh, current but uh, so, so the answer is a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Right, it, it, I understand. I understand. <laughs> yeah, that, and that's a, that's interesting because you know uh, you might have uh, with all the people that are moving in the area, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, vacant land is getting uh, developed for uh, apartments or houses or industry uh, all around the, the triad. Uh, do you have impact? Uh, do, do, does what happens in Guilford County impact? Forsyth County in any way, or are you basically in a box of Forsyth County looking at the values? That, that's a very good question. We, we try to use uh, sales inside Forsyth County as much as possible to appraise property inside Forsyth County. Um, we Residentially, we have uh, enough property sales that we can certainly do that. Uh, on certain commercial properties, I mean, their market, the market that they compete in, you know, would stretch beyond the boundaries of Forsyth County. So it would not be unusual for us to look into other um, similar uh, areas of the state or even the region, depending on the type of property. The, the, there's only one Haynes Mall in Forsyth right. County. And so, you know, that that's more of a regional uh, market that we're looking at there to value that property. But you're, for the vast majority of all the properties in Forsyth County, we're able to look inside Forsyth County at sales. Very good to have you in today. We, we appreciate you coming in. Uh, Forsyth.cc slash tax. Forsyth.cc slash tax has online tools, general information, uh, the different divisions. There's forms, frequently asked questions. Of course, the address and phone numbers on there. Uh, you can uh, check out uh, the information that's available. Uh, phone numbers are there. They're in the office from 8 to 5, uh, Monday through Friday. And uh, we do appreciate you coming in today, John. Thanks, thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Thanks for the opportunity. Glad looking, to be here. Looking forward, uh, looking forward to having you back in to... Uh, uh, to talk about this, maybe drill down into some of the information that we just skimmed the surface of, because I know there's a lot going on, especially with the growth in our area, uh, in making sure that uh, that the properties are valued correctly, fairly, and in, in a place where everybody gets the services that they expect at, at, at a value that they feel comfortable with. Thanks for coming in, John. Thank you. John Burgess, Tax Assessor and Collector with Forsyth County, here with us this morning on WTOB. It's 825.